In this video, I will show you how to submit your work to ScholarWorks at UT Tyler. So the first thing you will need to do is go to scholarworks.uttyler.edu and you should see this homepage. If you have not already created an account in ScholarWorks, you will need to create an account to submit your dissertation thesis or final report. Go to my account and follow the instructions under sign up to create a new account. Once you have created a new account, you will be able to log in to ScholarWorks at UT Tyler. So enter in your username and password. And click I am not a robot and then log in. Now you'll see your account page. So the next thing you'll want to do is from the browse panel, click on collections. This will show you all of the collections available in ScholarWorks at UT Tyler. The next step is to navigate to the department in which you are submitting your work. So if you are submitting to biology, you would click on biology and scroll down to biology theses. If you're submitting to nursing, you would go to School of Nursing, find whether it's a DNP final report, capstone project, or a thesis or dissertation. For this example, we'll do nursing theses and dissertations. So once you click on this, you'll see the page that has all of the nursing dissertations at UT Tyler. From here on the left-hand side under author corner, you see a button for submit research, click there. The next thing you'll see is the submission agreement. This has information for the author and for us as administrators of ScholarWorks at UT Tyler, just notifying you that you will be posting your work to ScholarWorks at UT Tyler. There's also information on this page about the access options available to you as a student, including open access, local use access only, which is creating full text access of your PDF to only UT Tyler affiliated people, or an embargo closed access option, which blocks the full text for two years. So once you read through the submission agreement and scroll down, you will check that you agree with the above terms and click continue. And here's where you'll enter in all of the information about your thesis or dissertation. Anything that is read and required, you must fill out. If you would like to edit, your name as it's already populated because you're logged in, you can go ahead and do that here by clicking this little pencil. So for example, you could affiliate with UT Tyler if you wanted to. Once you click out of there, it'll automatically update for you. An abstract is required. Up to six keywords should be entered to help describe information about what's in your thesis or dissertation. And the date of publication, you are required to list a year, but you can also list something as specific as the day, month, or even the season. Now under document type, here's where you will select whether it is a thesis or a dissertation. If you want to choose the local access option, you will do that here. So if you want local access, meaning only access to the full text of your thesis or dissertation available to current UT Tyler students, faculty, and staff, you would select that here. If you want your thesis or dissertation to be open access or closed access, you would just click thesis or dissertation and not local access. Under release options is where you decide whether or not you'd like to do that two-year embargo. If you want the full text of your thesis or dissertation to be fully available upon submission, leave it as no embargo required. If you would like a two-year embargo on your work, click on two years. Language should be English. Committee members and degree are optional if you would like to enter in those. You will be required to enter in your permanent email address, and that's usually the email that um, you created your account with. From here, we have our subject category disciplines. A lot of the sections for theses and dissertations will already have one category selected, but please feel free to, on the available side, dig down and find other topics by highlighting them and clicking select to move them in to help describe the discipline of your work. 
Lastly, you will want to upload the full text of your work after grad school review the full manuscript PDF with the signed signature page by clicking upload file from your computer and choose the file and make sure it is your PDF. And once you have all of that done, you will click submit. Once you have submitted your, re your research, you will get information about what you've submitted, you're able to revise or you're able to make another submission. At this point, an email is sent to me, Tara, as the ScholarWorks Administrator. And from there, I will rev review and approve your work once it has been submitted. Again, if you have any questions, please reach out to the library and we can help you navigate this. But the best thing to do is find your department, for example, math, click on math theses, and then under the author corner, submit research. And you'll see the same process, whether it's a thesis or dissertation, or whether it's in arts and sciences or one of our health sciences departments.